So the Guardian basically was sat here. I mean, his sword's there, his shield's there, but he... Okay, and what's that? What did he... Did he die at the hands of something? And how did the key get in his skull? Or did he die? And then someone thought, I will hide the key in his skull. Because... I have issues. Yes, I know the important thing is that we got the key, and the fact that curiosity is going to slowly drive me mad until I'm a gibbering wreck, sat in this cave, banging the skull against a rock, screaming, why, is utterly irrelevant. Yes, I get it. <sighs> You've got to admit, it's a little annoying. Okay, then, the next question is... Would you jump in there and use the key? No, I didn't think so. It was deep enough, right? It was... You know what? I'm going round. Okay! Adamantium Helm of Tohan. That is more like it. Yes, it is. I mean, we'll probably still find a place for the Barbarian Helm, but it did look suspiciously like the Iron Helm, so... Okay. Where's he gone? How'd I in a go? I got it. It's... Okay, I'm just... It's, um... It's interesting. Sort of. It's a little silly looking, actually. But, you know what? It will look great. Oh, God. Put your cloak on. And then... Find a fire. Find a fire. Those people sat... Oh, did I tell you to stay on your horse? I didn't actually mean to do that. Something on your mind? Continue on foot. Okay, fair enough. I, well, I say that I'm, I'm about to get back on the horse, so you get on the horse. But what I mean is, do as I do. Don't just sit there looking all pompous and let me do all the swimming. And now that I've said that, I realise that was probably the plan all the time, right? You just thought, I'm going to sit here... And let him do the swimming, because only a fool would swim in frozen water like that. And I'm no fool. I may follow a fool, but I am no fool. Excuse me, I hope you guys are friendly, because I need to use your... F Get out of here, Steed. We have trouble. Okay. I don't care. I'm sorry, but... Oh. I... Need to get dry and what? Was there somebody else there? Okay, well, I'll go and look. You notice somebody, and he's using coal. Okay, just leave with the. Not with the cup. No! Coal! No! Kill him! Kill him a lot! Make it hurt! Oh, really? Is my. Where's my invisibility? Where's my invisibility? Is there a bandit school? Where's... Oh, there's no energy. I've no poison. I've no poison. And apparently I've no invisibility. Why do I not have bloody invisibility? Oh, because I picked up a bunch of gear on the... Is he dead? Is he dead? Kill him? Yes, is it? Let him drown and get cold. No mercy! Don't let him heal! Don't let him heal! Don't no. let him heal! Loot him before he gets too far. I don't want to get any wetter. Yeah, I can't see. You know what? Don't care! I'm staying here and getting warm. Bloody frost magic. 
Okay, old key. What's that? A key? F oh. No, that's not locked. Oh, what's that? An old key for? Oh. Does this mean there's a... I didn't see anything else that could have been... Oh, that is really annoying. This... Oh, no, maybe... No, that... No, it's not for this, is it? It's not for this. Why are you stood in the cold water? Where are the other bodies that we... <sighs> Do you think this means there's something below decks? And by below deck, I mean below bloody water. Oh, I've just got dry and warm. i just got... Fine. Oh, this is just... just... I need a potion of don't get wet. A potion of giant bloody warm bubble of air. Why isn't that a spell? Hmm? Okay, this is all right. All right, what's the? Okay, there's a there's a there's a chest. It's got stuff in it, but I don't think it needed a key. No. Uh... Okay, right. take a breath. Uh, and just mind you, do not drown. Right, there we go. Chris some Paladin's Boon provides defense against fire, magic, and increased health regeneration. Rip. Okay, let's go. Right. What are you doing? If you were willing to do the swimming, why didn't you go in alone? Just... Oh, right. Get the cloak back on. Get nice and dry. Well, we got the helm we were looking for, and it does seem like we have stumbled across an interesting weapon. I have a feeling that has a place in the museum. It just, it looks the sort of thing we would have in the museum, does it not? So let's get back to the museum. Let's... Right, as fast as we can in... It really is getting kind of... murky. It's not just dark, is it? It's... Where was the road? Was it here? I might want to turn the light off. I think it was actually hindering my vision. I think the upper cave was... Oh, God, I'm, am I riding off? Wow, actually, night vision. Right, that was the upper cave. All right. Shouldn't be too difficult to get home. Let's get home, drop this stuff off, get a night's sleep, pick up some jewellery to sell, to recoup our losses, and then plan our next move. Although, I, I really honestly think our next move is to... Sort that little thing out for Arniel, which means probably travelling to Riften and then just travelling north towards Windhelm, cooking the, the, the soul gem in those... I can't... Convec... Trrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
an army over the ability to go whoosh forward very quickly. I mean... Also, oh, there's another Dragonborn. Why can't he do it? Hmm? No, just stop guilt tripping me. Hey, um, let's check your... What is mine is yours. Yeah, um, let's have a look. You've only got one sweet roll. Have a few more. If it'll keep you quiet, it's definitely worth it. I should probably eat as well. I... Breakfast. Apple pie. Yes. Right, let's talk about today's plan. We need... Well, we don't need. I would like to get this thing done for Arniel before we, um, you know, do the thing we've talked about. Um, so I think we stop off at Windhelm and then just come here, check to see if there are two convectors, and if so, we're pretty much done as soon as we then continue up the road and find the third. From there, we can go and check this Autumn Shade clearing where apparently, according to a treasure map that we have, there is some treasure. Then we can uh, put that treasure map on the wall where it belongs. And then just head off to Riften, sort a few things out there. You know, it's been a while since we've sweet rolled Riften. There might be some things there. We can spend the night at Riften and then, you know, talk about what to do next. We'll, we'll, we'll hold off on that conversation since I know it's on my way. a bit uh, of a, well, I sensitive subject. Solitude definitely feels a little quiet since the dragon attack, doesn't it? I can't help but notice we seem to be missing quite a few guards as well. Who is that? Silana Petraea. My friend died. Things won't be the same without him. Yeah, oh, was that during the dragon attack? Yes, I'm afraid a lot of people the died. The saved me from the streets, and they can save you from your trials as well. Right, not sure I need them to. Because generally speaking, what I found about divines and other powerful beings is when they save you from your troubles, they like to heap a whole new collection of them onto your shoulders. Lord Vivek's sword meeting with Cirrus the Restless, Volume 8. I can't remember how many of those we have, but we're getting close to a full set, I think. All right, you don't have any goat horns. I have a come back. feeling we're going to be uh, needing a lot more than we have for the new manor. She doesn't sell that sort of thing, Gerda. Yes. No, not you. Who? Uh, no, you. S you don't sell anything but food. But life's hard I enough with all these men propositioning me. But that bard is the worst. Yes, that's absolutely terrible. It really is. You should do something about it. Uh, what do you have for sale? Oh. A bit of this and a bit of that. Do you have milk, flour? Oh, you've got butter. Excellent. Oh, I tell you what, I do need chicken eggs. We've sort of run out of chicken eggs, which is usually the thing we have the most of. I definitely need to pick up a few uh, snacks as well. It's either we pick them up here or we have to go into Windhelm and pick them up there. Uh, you sell snacks. Need something? Did you know some Alakir warriors are looking for a Red Guard woman? Yeah, it's just, yeah, I'm not randomly accosting Red Guard women. What's on the menu? Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. Um, yeah, unknown. Um, no, you don't have anything. Okay, yeah. Until next time. Yeah, you should probably uh, steer clear of some uh, Alakir warriors who are wandering around. Well, essentially molesting every woman in Skyrim, apparently. Okay, I've got the money this time. I suppose so, yes. Okay, I've got the money. There you go. Thank you very much. Right, we've got another piece. That cost a huge amount of money. It really did. I mean, it's good to have 
complete collections, although we don't have complete collections of those things, I'm afraid. It is nice to have the collections more fleshed out, but it's bloody expensive if you have to actually have the things made. It's going to take me, well, Got to several days to, to, to recoup, actually. Once we've been in to speak to the fence, I saw a shadow. Please tell me it was just a bird. Yeah, once we've spoken to the fence, maybe we could just wander around and check some of the chickens' nests around here. Okay, the weather's not exactly brilliant here. It was lovely and sunny. And... What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm getting out of the... I'm doing the exact same thing you're doing. I'm getting out of the damn snow. Wow. Okay. So, we take the horses straight down the road, past Kynes Grove, keep going, past Steam Crab Camp, and then we should sort of see... We probably can see Mazulft off to the left, um, and a road going up there. All right, and hopefully, hopefully, if we're lucky, two convectors. I really hope we're lucky because the other convectors are on the other side of Skyrim and suspiciously close to that dragon we did see. Mind you, oops, there is actually a dragon somewhere in this swamp. Hopefully... The, uh, the snow will make it a little hard to see us, hear us, or smell us. And we can just make our way around unmolested. Yes, I do not wish to be molested by a dragon. Right. The only downside is the howling wind could hide the sound of the dragon swooping in at the same time as also sounding suspiciously like a dragon. I mean, that, I, I, I swear I'm hearing dragon sounds, but it also kind of sound... I'm hearing something bite. That that, 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 okay. That was the dragon. Whoa, 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 okay. I, where, where, where are we going? Where are we going? Okay, let's, let's just, oh. Let's stay away. I've left the beaten path. We have lost the beaten path. Did that thing come after us? Uh, yes, it did. All right, okay. Kill it, kill it. Oh. There's a giant flying, fire-breathing lizard right over there. You would... No, 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 no. Come here. You would think all creatures would think to themselves, let's not hang around. Just... Stay low. Oh, well, that is ridiculous. There's a giant's fire. What is the what is the bear attacking? Okay, you know what? Companionship and endless opportunities. Where's Shadow me? That right. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I think I think the dragon's got other things to snack upon the tar a little closer. That's the road. We're sort of avoiding the road. Hello? I hope you don't mind. We're, we're just riding through. And we'd like to... What am I doing? I, I wanted to find out what that book was. Why am I... The legend... You do know there's a bloody dragon there, right? Miss? 
Hunter. I, it's not like my poaching is hurting anyone. The Jarl can hardly eat every deer now, can he? Well, probably not. I... Take a look. Yeah. Okay, no, nothing, 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 no, no, just... Good day. So the dragon's not... Oh. Yeah, sorry, we're just hiding here from the dragon. Don't mind us, we're, we're just, we're warming up near your fire and also hiding from the... Dragon. Okay. We need that one. Thank you very much. Um, I think the dragon... Is still there. Now we're going to move on now. They were nice. And kind of clueless. Which really, when you think about it, is probably my favourite sort of people. They make my life a lot easier. Definitely a lot of interesting places that will be forever withheld from us on account of a dragon. I think this was the location. Let's not assume nothing has moved. Are we... St Is this the right way? This... Yes. So, we're looking for two containers, I think, that look very similar. Are you hearing? Is that you? Is that you I'm hearing? I think that's you. Those dragons really do make rather a lot of noise, don't they? Okay, yeah, no, it's further up. I thought it was. The, the road forks a little. Uh, oh, I rem Isn't this where we did excavations? Wasn't it? Wasn't this the... Yes, this is the ex- I do not know what I have been told. My memory is gone, but I am still bold. I'll kill a spider before I go to bed. Or he'll kill me and I'll wake up dead. Okay, where did that one come from? I mean, I'm not complaining. Feel, feel free to, to keep doing it. Right. Was it in or out, do you think? Let's let's check inside the Dwarven storeroom. But this, I think, is good news. Because I don't think this storeroom leads to the same place the other building does. Which does indicate... Okay, excellent. That does indicate that there is a second convector near here. Because these places are not connected. This is where we found a piece of the shard, wasn't it? Yeah. My night vision still? Yes, it is. We didn't miss anything here. Just a bunch of plates that I do not need. Okay, so we... Inside here, we place the... What was it called? It was called the Warped Soul Gem. And then... We heat it up with Arniel's convection. Yeah. Now, he said this was a low heat, so hopefully my gloves won't set on fire. Okay. Uh, Didn't look Let's any... just loot the place and get out. I like your thinking, but believe it or not, we've already done the first part, I think. Right. So now we have to find the next convector. Let's hope it's not deep inside. Mzulft. Can you remember what we did here? Was this where we came and found the location of Labyrinthia? Was it? I can't remember. You complain about your memory going. I think my memory is much worse. Um, I'll tell you what. No, it's definitely in here. It's definitely in here. Clairvoyance just sucks. 
even if I take every single thing off to focus on it, it still doesn't seem to work. Right. Oh. Traps. So, keep your eyes open for... Yeah, I don't actually... Night vision in these dwarven ruins seems a little much because... So, yes, it was. It absolutely was the place we came to find the location of the staff of Magnus. We didn't miss anything, no. Right, okay. So... A dwarven... There you go! Nice! And... Warped soul gem. Arniel. Arniel's confetta. And... Excellent! Right, that's two down, so we only need one, and there's one not so far from here. This is going strangely well, which probably means we're going to exit, and the dragon will be sat there on top of Shadowmere going, So! Thought you could sneak past me, did you? Or something equally as horrible. Or we will step out into what is becoming a fairly nice day and be on our merry way. Happy and content. Having made progress in our quest. With that vaguely uneasy feeling one gets when things are going right. I think it's somewhere up there. Yes, it is. Right. I can't believe the blacksmith is not open at this time of day. It's like 2.30. I did tell the um, alchemist in Riften I'd pick up some ore for her, and there's no harm in getting on the good side of the local alchemist, but I'm not... I'm not hanging around waiting for the blacksmith to stop doing whatever it is he's doing in his house that caused him to want to lock the door at 2.30 in the afternoon, because... Realistically, if you're taking time off your duties, your shop duties, your smithy duties, to go into your house and you lock the door behind you, you're probably not having a light lunch. Was it around here? Yes, it is. Okay. Damn it. Thought about that too late. Is that... You probably don't want us to come in close, do you? Let's just assume he doesn't like us and go straight to the part where we say hello in our own special way. Probably should have checked to see if he has ah. friends. But honestly, if you look, does this look like the sort of person and scenario that involves a social gathering? Actually, you know, it might, if you think about it. This is the sort of thing that rich people do. They go up to weird ruins and do little rituals just to feel a little risque. Nope, no one's jumped out and said, Oh my God, you killed Bob! Um, however, we... Oh, maybe we're at the wrong place. Are we at the wrong place? Do we owe this gentleman an apology? Was this a bit of an unnecessary murder? Oh, we were right next to it when we first saw that gentleman. We could have probably just... We probably could have just done this and he would have ignored us and left us alone. Oh, dear. Well, I do feel a little silly now. 
You know, if I hadn't have interrupted his ritual, he probably would have been like, yeah, no, fine, you you use that little box thing. I don't know what it does anyway. It's probably not important. You know? And... We are done, yes? Right, OK, so we can take that back to Arniel and find out what on earth he's up to. Dear, oh dear, I do feel a little daft. Right. Why do you always run everywhere? Uh, um. Okay, sorry. Just, I don't run everywhere. Sometimes walk around, walk through the city, usually because I'm too overloaded. Fine, we'll walk. Don't want to, you know, upset you. Although... Can we walk a little later, yeah? We're, we're just, we're just, for now, get a bit of a move on. Let's keep Shadowmere following. So, right, let's check that map. Let's check that... Do you want to talk? Did I hear a buzzing? I think I heard a buzzing. You want me to lighten your load? Ye no, 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 no. Treasure map. I think it was... Was it that one? Was it X or was it X1? Oh, uh, let's check. I ha oh, no, it wasn't. It was X1. I have to have Inigo X here carry what these. What can I do for you? Because if I carry them, every time I talk to I the ghosts your burdens gladly. in the museum, they take them off and stick them on the wall, which is normally quite helpful, but in this particular case, less so. What's next? Um, treasure map. So... Autumn shade clearing, and there should be a tree. A fallen tree. So where's the clearing, do you think? Let's just... Let's just... Right ahead, right ahead. Look. Okay, I have a feel... I have a feeling we might not be totally welcome. Can we? Oh, how about we set you off on the bear? Yeah, no, no. Oh. Well, that could be one way of getting you to fight them as well. They just... I frenzied them. They go mad. You, you, you start attacking. But they're also attacking the bear. Let's... Let's add some confusion to the mix. Oh, look at that. They're all attacking each other. Yes. Kill each other. You'll never believe what he said about your missus. I'd get him if I were you. See, this is the way to have fights. At a vast distance. Okay, that 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 one is that one is right, and then and then is, is she coming to us? I'm gonna take that as a yes, and by us I think she Oh! Nicely done! Nicely done! Did she have anything interesting on her? Where, where, where? Okay, that's a fox. Fox pelt. Where did you kill her? Oh. You don't think that's the fallen tree, do you? Probably not. Uh, where, where is she? Inigo, where did you, where did you shoot her? Because she might have something alchemically potent on her corpse. Or she might have an arrow. Okay, um, taproot's pretty useful. But, um, yeah. I may have got my hopes up for no reason. Right, so this is the clearing, almost certainly. And that is a fallen tree. Oh, no. Ha, 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 ha. No. Here we go. Let's have a... Okay, boots of the apostle. 
The wearer of these boots does not suffer fall damage? Oh. Okay. I'm liking the sound of that. Can we remove the enchantment from those and put them on something else? Because if not, we found my new boots. Uh, where were they? Um, boots of the Apostle. They're not very good This protection. is rather lovely. It... Actually, it is. You're right. You're right. It is actually pretty... They're okay? I mean, I mean, let's, let's look at the, the Crimson Archer boots. I do prefer the Crimson Archer boots. They suit the outfit, but... I don't know how high up I have to be to, to take damage. I really don't. Okay. I'm not going to kill myself if these don't work on this height, I guess. Whee! Yes! Oh, now those are ridiculously useful. Brilliant. Right. Okay, so that's that particular treasure map sorted. We can get that on the wall to, um, in the museum. So now that all we have to do is go back to Riften, probably spend the night there. Let's return. I want, I want, I want to remove the marker. Thank you. Uh, let's return Dravis's bow to him at Merry Fair Farm, shall we? Because for some Odd reason I have this desire to not put it down, which is beginning to irritate me. I, I sort of, I get vaguely annoyed when that happens, but um, there you go. We've got this bow, we'll give it to him. Maybe he'll give us a reward or, you know, I don't know. As, lo as long as it's not in my bloody inventory, I'll be happy. Am I getting lost? More lost? No, no. I think I think we're actually right on. Let's not say right on track. Let's say on track ish. Hello, so, Dravin. Hmm. I found your bow. That's it. You found it. Yes. I don't know how you got it back, and I don't want to know. Frankly, I don't even care. I'm just so glad to see it again. Here, this is all I can afford to give you as compensation. Hope it's enough. Okay. Azura, bless you. Rough ruby, rough. It's not bad. No, but thank you, thank you very much. We can sell it. We need the cash at the moment. Yeah, uh, how I found it was through sheer accident. I happened to be looting a container. It was sat in. That's my house. Yes, it yeah. is. Hi guys, did you miss me? That's right, your guild master is back and he's going to check the tribute chest. Requires a key, of course it requires, I've got a key. Oh, okay, nice. Well done everyone, I'm very pleased. Your guild master is pleased. This does look like it's filling up. Does it look like it's filling up to you? It looks like it's filling up to me. Each time I come. It could be my imagination, but then don't spoil the illusion for me. The sound of that dragon still bothers me. However... Let's... get started. Nocturnal figurine. Okay. These guards have some strange items. They have a lot of paintings. Well, two, but there's still more paintings than I would have imagined. Okay. Sibi Blackbriar. 
quick note regarding my son, Sibby. He's been treated as I'd expect you to treat any one of the Black Briar family, and all of his requests are to be honoured without question. However, if he wishes to be released, you are not to do so, unless I expressly authorise it. Sibby needs to learn his place, and the only way that will happen is if he is kept under lock and key. I think I've read that before, you know. It, it, it sounds a little familiar. Dancing fire, silver ring. I. Okay. I don't remember. Oh. You know, maybe I've not been in here before. I don't remember. Mind you. Mind you, sometimes my um, nocturnal activities sort of blend into one. Per your requests. Willandria, your letter sent to the College of Winterhold was rife with grammatical errors and incomplete thoughts, making them difficult to discern. Could you please clarify the points below as to ensure we're on the same page? We have no record of a cloud emulsifier device or anything involving the mal ma magical manipulation of the clouds. Second, we can't send you a sample of the heart of Lorcan for experimentation as no such sample exists. And finally, in the 14th paragraph of your letter, you mention a substance called green moat. We're assuming this was a simple mistake and you meant to write green spore. If that's the case, we have contaminated skeva carcasses with the disease available if needed. We'd also thank, like to thank you for sending us your notes regarding the experiments. We all had quite a grand time reading them. Mirabel Irvine. I should probably talk to her a little more. You know, once she's got over the shock of being robbed. Uh, imagine she'll probably forget she's been robbed. She's not a... Hide shield. Believe it or not, I think I still need the hide shield. Not the hide helmet, but the hide shield. I think I do. Psh. What is that? And how is it f floating? Okay, well, we're definitely taking that for scientific research purposes, yes? We are. Ah. Do I need? I think I've got a lot of the iron ones. I might need a few steel ones, but they're damned heavy. I can always I can always buy those from the local blacksmith if I really need them. I want to keep my uh, my backpack a little light if I'm to uh, keep picking things up. To a concerned citizen? What on earth is that? Concerned citizen, you've received this letter because you're a businessman in Riften who's sick and tired of being pushed around by the Black Briar family and their cronies. You're sick of the Thieves' Guild taking your last coin from your already meagre earnings, and you're sick of corruption that ru runs through Mistvale Keep like a disease. We at the Society of Mercantile Freedom in Riften are behind you, and wish to unify to fight our common enemies. Join us and together we'll stand up and smash the injustice that's ruined this once fine city. If you're interested in becoming a part of our organization, simply mark your business with a white X and you'll be contacted by a representative. The Society of Mercantile Freedom in Riften. I'm not sure I like the sound of that. May have to look into that a little. That's a thief. Why is he running around here? You're gonna wake everyone up, you idiot. Oi! Oi! Excuse me, are you part of our guild? Because if so, you're doing a terrible bloody job. 
Get out of here. Just seriously get out of here. Oh my god. What are you doing? What are you doing? Honestly. You're wearing guilt armor, so I can only assume you're part of the guilt. Just... <sighs> Alright, well there doesn't seem to be anybody in here. If I see you... In the rat way, you're fired. Just, just so you know that. All right, let's get back to business. Note from Maven. In Darin, if you ever dare to create arbitrary rules on my behalf again without informing me first, I'll have Maul personally show you what your insides look like. I trust that we're clear on the issue, and I won't have to mention it again, Maven. Bad boy. Very naughty. Almost as naughty as that moron. Hello. I'll get something for myself as well. And... All that's left is... Eastern? Dwear my sword. I should have sweet rolled. This place. I should have sweet rolled Riften a long, long time ago. Yes, I sh to be read immediately. Okay. Notice to all employees. It's come to my attention that the last batch of Black Briar Private Reserve was simply our standard Black Briar Mead placed in the incorrect bottles. We sold six cases of the Private Reserve recently, and they're all returned. To make amends, we've replaced the cases with the correct supply at our cost. Due to this blunder, the cost of those cases will be removed from this month's wages. Inderin. Surely it's your fault, Inderin, aren't you? Supposed to be sorting that sort of a thing out. Read. All employees must read. Notice to all employees, I've discovered my bed filled with skeever droppings that were obviously placed there on purpose by an employee who felt that it was an amusing prank. You have until mid us to either come forward on your own or point me in the direction of the perpetrator of this practical joke, otherwise all employees will be subject to half wages for the next three months. He's one of those bosses, is he? I shouldn't even be in here. This is out of bounds for the Thieves' Guild. I'm not going to take anything. I'm just basically being nosy. Upon my honour, I do swear undying loyalty to the Emperor, Lady Maven Blackbra. I've made inquiries into the loss of your mead shipments to Cyrodiil, and I've come to the conclusion that they were waylaid by a group of mercenaries under the employ of the Empire. According to my sources, these mercenaries were not acting under orders and simply attacked the caravan for supplies. I forwarded the request for compensation on your behalf to the Imperial Council, uh, and the mercenaries in question have already been dealt with accordingly. Again, I wish to expend extend my deepest apologies for this unfortunate mishap, and I assure you that any future shipments in our nation will be met at the border by an Imperial patrol and personally escorted to their final destination. Regin Limulus, Grand Steward, Imperial City Trade Relations. So she has power quite far afield. Yeah, we're, we're not really going to steal anything from her unless... Like, Nope. Unless I find something I really, really cannot resist. Like a sweet roll. Or a book that I don't possess. Amulet of Kings. I should read that. I still have not. Okay. Let's just not get seen. That's the important. Is she going to know if I steal a sweet roll from her? I mean, is she going to know? If anyone's figured out who the sweet roll bandit is by now, it would be Maven. Let's just not anger her too much. What? 
do you have a kiss, sweet mother? Okay. Astrid, I thought your peace people were supposed to be reliable. I've performed the Black Sacrament, I've paid the proper penance, and I've waited patiently for the results. If you can't handle a simple assassination, I'll find someone who can. I want this contract handled immediately. You know, maybe I should take this? I mean, would this count as stealing as the Guildmaster of the Thieves, or... Could this possibly be more a matter of I'm here as the black, as the um, Dark Brotherhood listener? I don't know whether to take anything from her. I have a horrible feeling she'd know, but I sort of want to speak to her now and find out what she needs from us. I mean, a contract from her... Actually, you know what? That is, that is it. That is, that's written to me. You know what? It is, really. It's a letter for me. Okay. There is a place for that in the museum. This is going to get me in a lot of trouble. Letter from Christoph. Dearest Maven, after a disagreement a fortnight ago, I fear that business had finally gotten the best of our friendship. Since I still haven't have yet to receive a reply to my last letter, it seems my suspicions are correct. I realize mis my mistake has cost you a lot, and all I hope to do is make amends. I'll be staying at the Bannered Mare in Whiterun should you wish to speak with me. Regards, Christoph Bartlett. We've a lot of correspondence regarding that person. Letter from Sir Bjorn. Maven, this is the final letter I'll be sending to you. I'm sick to death of your underhanded methods. A little competition never hurt anyone, and Hunting Brew has barely scratched the surface of your business. I've lost two more shipments this month to those so-called bandits. If I find out you're involved, I'm taking it to the Jarl. Okay... Right. Yeah, I'm now in a lot of trouble, probably. Unless she thinks the Dark Brotherhood is taking that as payment. Right. I hate leaving things like that behind. But I do already have an ebony helmet in the museum, so... Let's not push our luck. Well, let's not push our luck more than we already have. <laughs> 